So today we're just going to do a quick video on how to service the King's winch. Um, we've had this winch in the car for about 11 months now. It's gone all around Australia through a couple of rivers. I did service it before we set off on our trip. And um, yeah, figured it was time to pull it all apart, see how much mud it swallowed and give it a clean up. But yeah, if you haven't seen any of our videos, we're traveling around, just doing vlogs and whatnot. And um, yeah, get stuck into them. They're pretty good in that. So to do this job, I'm pretty sure this is all I need. So I've got my Barco socket set with like Phillips bits, um, sockets and the whatnot. Uh, container to wash up all parts in can of degreaser I've got a second one there as well if you need it and some grease so we'll get stuck into pulling it out so with the X rocks it just drops out the bottom obviously different bull bars are different but it's pretty easy to get out so we'll get on to that make me look bad. Do you see electrical cables to them? Yeah, so this is just uh, before we can take Don't the winch. Don't you always do black first? Oh, it doesn't it's matter, it's disconnected. So the isolator's isolated. But um, we've just got to disconnect all these electrical wires. So we've got the active, the neutral, some other wire, some other wire, <laughs> some other wire. But you just Noisible. basically take photos of it. I took a few photos just before I started pulling it apart because um, the worst thing is to forget where it all goes where it all goes and then you'll regret that straight away so we'll just pop these off and then we'll um, get to the mounts for it what have you done sir? Uh, just release the line I'll pull with it Oh, I might do that now. Oh, I need more tools than I said you do. You need your pliers. Are you able to grab my multis? I'll just use big multis on my door. Always handy to have a bucket for all your bits and pieces. Yeah. Otherwise you lose stuff. Once you lose it, it's, oh, it's, it's gone. Inconvenient. We needed all hands on deck, but it's out, hence why we didn't film. Winch is out. Now the hard bit, I guess. <laughs> Easy. Easy? Okay. Yeah, mate. Alright, so we've got winch out. Um, I'm going to separate the uh, gear housing from the drum and from the motor, pull it out. So to do that you just undo these two barry things and then it should just pull apart. It has been 11 months since I last did this so... We'll, uh, Ringing it as usual. Yeah, we'll go on a learning experience. Is that that thing that you dropped last time that you're worried about losing? No, that's something else I dropped last time that I don't remember where I lost it. Okay, I'll go for a hunt then, shall I? You could probably put these in separate boxes if you really wanted your nuts and bolts with... So you know which ones are for which yeah, but thing? it's pretty self-explanatory. The one that fits in the hole? I'm pretty sure these only go back on a certain way, so... Yeah, they do. So... Ribbity bit there. Yeah. Non-ribbed bit there. Yeah or however you pull them off to pay attention or video it so you can then go back and watch your own video oh it's like the red grease yeah that's all the grease I used last time so you can see all the water in it how's water got in it flashback to shot of Justin and Nolan's ah uh, they're just not that well sealed here's what it is cool so is the plan just to re-grease it? Is that the plan? I pull all this assembly out, pull all that off, clean all the grease off it, 
get all the schmutz out, see if there's any, there was pitting in the bore. What does that mean? There was like rust pitted in the bore of this drum when I first did it. So we'll check that, see if it got any worse. I'll throw a photo up of it. But yeah, just pull it apart, regrease it, clean all the mud and water out, put it back together and we'll go me and we'll pull the car up hills. What did you just say, Alan yeah, Keys? Yeah, all these need to come undone. Oh, you just remember that, now like you're a... covered in grease. What do you mean? You've done some of the jigsaw puzzle of the moving. Uh, so each of those individual things needs to come out. They're yeah. small. Yeah. Pulling apart cars is always a learning experience. Yeah. Unless you're a mechanic and it's just what you do for a job, I guess. They look like the prime size for losing. But also, like, I'm pretty sure I greased them or did something to them because they're very small. And if you left this too long, you might have a bit of an issue getting them out. They might rust up because kings. Mm. But yeah, once you get this, undo all these little Allen keys. You can uh, pull all the planetary gears and whatnot out, all the fun bits. Do you like the planetary gears, Alex? I've got no idea what you're talking about. Just say yes, planetary gears yes, are awesome. Yes, planetary gears are awesome. Like that. Oh, sounded enthusiastic. You know how I was saying when we put big tyres on a car, it changes gearing? So all the planetary gears, like somehow with engineering and stuff big things spin little things and it just changes the torque so it's like all the cogs like in a yeah. clock gear imagine so it's seeing. basically this is just full of different size gearing to reduce the speed that the drum rotates to the speed that the motor turns it okay. so the motor's not working so we're going to about to take this yeah. housing off let's see what it looks like underneath probably smutsy I just don't know how you know where all these seals go. So. Yeah, a bit of mud and smuts got in there. What does oh, smuts yeah. mean? Oh, just crap. Nice way of saying it. You can see the bottom. The so, isn't great on this, but yeah. What that'll be is that'll be where the drum sits like that in the car. And then it all so all the water sinks. that's got in there is just sat there. So I'll clean up what I've got out and then I'll put this shit in there. Smuts. Smuts in there. And we'll clean it up. How about winch scat? Huh? Horrible. <laughs> Not funny? No, you can take that. <laughs> My life's new microfiber cloths. I feel like I've got to be very gentle with this. It's a Did very it? thin bit of rubber. Right. That's the, one of the O-rings or something, isn't it? Yeah, that's the main O-ring that doesn't keep mud and water out of your king's <laughs> I will say the first time I did this, the winch was a couple of months old and it had been used once. Or older months. than that. We had the winch for way longer before but we came we on the trip. We barely used it and um, it was bad. So I would do this when you first buy these winches to make them last a bit longer. But it also, it's still... It still pulls strong. Always wear gloves. So we're giving it a spray with some heavy duty degreaser. Oh, it's quite, it looks like it's quite strong spray. And then you're cleaning it with our brand new rags. That aren't rags. And toothbrush. And then we're using a toothbrush which we haven't yet used, but I'm guessing you won't be using to brush your teeth. You might. To clean it. Get some extra grease in the teeth. Hmm. Hmm. Grease up your jaw. But yeah, it's just a long, slow process of pulling it all apart, taking pictures or videos as you go, so you know which way it's going to all go back together. Regrease it and put it Check in. Check it for, yeah, any damage and clean it, regrease it, put it back in. Sounds good. So we might do some little bits of filming and like montage, maybe a time lapse. I was going to do a time lapse. I wasn't going to tell them we were going to do a time lapse. Oh, I was just okay. going to go to time lapse. Oh, I've ruined the surprise people. Go Sorry. to time lapse. Um, 
we're not going to go to a time <laughs> So that's what it should look like. Bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Just keep removing. Mm. Yuck. Do you reckon the water that's in there is causing me dramas? Probably. I'll go. No, want nothing to see here, eh? I don't know what the EPA is talking about. This is when you pull your clutch lever. What it's actually doing is on free spool it's disengaging. So it stays back from this and when you click it in to spool it, it just clicks in. Really simple design. Really clever. Oh, now that's going to go. Get out of the So that's all apart, clean, pretty, and whatnot. Ish. So it's going to pack it back in the best that I remember <laughs> and just fill it with grease, everything with grease as you go. Just you can pretty much not have too much in this. So cram her in there. Okay. Now we'll go from it. Grease, it's not pink anymore. No, sorry, it's not. How a good do you know what's schmuck and what's grease now? Um, hopefully next time the winch comes apart, it won't be at my hands. Okay. Well, you'll be doing it, won't you? <laughs> no. Why are you doing that bit first? That I'm pretty sure that one sits in this bottom bit. Be a bit more generous with it. Grease is such a weird thing. Why do you... Well, Looks like Maybe putty. Grace thinks you're a woman. It looks like something like a face product that you put on your face. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know, it looks like Grace to me. But it's just my uh, upbringing. Mechanicing eyes, you know, when you've been in the trade as <coughs> long as I have. Which bit went next? I don't I'm know. Pretty sure it was this one. It was it? I think I'm putting too much grease. I have no idea what you're doing, if it's like too much, too little, or not enough. The right order. You told me you can never have enough grease, didn't you, a second ago? Can. Okay. Never have enough lube. No. I'm trying to be funny. Did it work? Mm. I feel like Justin's not sure what he's doing next. No, when you do these, you can rotate. The cool thing is you can rotate the um, housing. So your clutch is in an accessible place for your bulba for each different car. But what I should have done is mark where they sit in reference to each other. So then I know where my clutch needs to be when that's bolted up. I might just have to pull it apart and do it again. Clever. No drama, but mildly inconvenient. So it looks like lining up these really small little screws you talked about earlier was quite hard. No, did you not see how quick it just went on? Just because I took too long to get the camera out. Yeah. <laughs> they missed the swearing. And the <laughs> getting ever, it on. I don't ever swear. I'm a very patient person. Okay. 
Oh. So you get all these mini screws back in. Yeah, just put the gasket back on and grease the hell out of it because... Sorry about the craze, by the way. Yeah, the grease kind of acts a bit like a um, water repellent to a small degree. So it um, helps the gasket seal out the water. Yeah. Not massively, but more than nothing. What did I just miss you doing? Uh, pulled out the electrical motor side, which is just two really long uh, four mil Allen keys. You pop the motor out and I've already cleaned it because I was impatient, but you can almost see like a different scoring on that copper. You just give it a light buff with some sandpaper. Uh, makes it contact better, apparently. But it's a nightmare to get back in. I remember now hating this. So. I do all those things to be pushed in or something. Yeah. Oh, how'd you do that? I don't really remember. Mm. Yeah. So the rope is off the thingy. <laughs> and we're putting the thingy back together with the other thingies. Yeah? The rope's off the drum. Yeah. So we can clean it and unkink it from wherever I've had like hard pulls and it's not fully spooled out and I haven't fully spooled it back out and in again. Mm -hmm. It winds on itself. There we go. Well, wasn't that easier? What, what a rig. What, you or the witch? <laughs> Me. Okay. Have you seen... I have seen you, yeah. ...mechanicing this good before? Mm, I don't really watch mechanicing very often, so it's hard to judge. I watch a lot of YouTube, so I'm pretty much a mechanic anyway. Mm. that going for you? Attempt number two. It's really good that these don't weigh that much. <laughs> oh, now I can't see where it's going. There we go. Still not down enough. I just got the one, I didn't necessarily check that the 15 was in the 15. But I took it out of the 15 hole. That's in the wrong spot. So we're almost there. Winter's back in. Yeah, Skeeto! Um, rope needs to be clean. Oh. Quite aggressive, Justin. Um. Alright, so it wasn't meant to end like this, but uh not all good things end well i don't know anyways rebuilt winch put it back on the car as i was tightening the bolt i heard a loud snapping sound turns out i'm an idiot and i don't know if you see it but i've snapped the casting for one of the legs where it secures back into the bar. so i serviced the winch to snap it putting it back in now i'll go buy a new one um, but yeah, that's how you service a winch, I guess. Uh, it was full of mud and water after a year, so would recommend doing it. Um, just don't be a dickhead and tighten it up too much. Yeah. So it turns out I got all greasy for nothing, and I guess we're off to buy a winch so that Justin can keep doing silly things like this. We hope you enjoyed Justin attempting to teach you how to service a winch. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.